are back here on Girl Talk, and I am here with my friend, Dr. Matt. He and I work out together every single day and, until this virus came. That's right. But it's fabulous to see you, Rock Dental Group. <laughs> and, you know, it's been interesting, uh, before you all joined us, we were talking about the shifts and changes mm -hmm. um, that that you guys have made. And you said people are coming in and it's all wonderful. Yeah, it, uh, everyone, we're open for hygiene now, so we're doing routine elective uh, dentistry, okay. our hygienists are, you know, back at it. Uh, we're just trying to do it in a more controlled environment. We are taking temperatures. Oh, well, okay. You know, uh, patients wear masks when they come in. We, we have them come right into the operatories, wash their hands. They do a mouth rinse uh, to try and lower the bacterial load in their mouth. And then uh, they, they just go about their normal cleanings. And then we kind of have an exit so that we social distance. Oh, yeah, and, that makes uh, sense. Yeah, try, okay. to, try to just space it out. So we, we limit people in the waiting room and try to keep it flowing smoothly. But people are very enthusiastic, and uh, I think they appreciate some of the safety precautions oh we're taking. And, uh, yes. So my team's been working hard. They've been doing a great job. Have they really? Well, you said you've got a, um, uh, an air system coming in, too? Yes. Uh, it's a company called Surgically Clean Air. Um, and there are filters that are stationed throughout our office that clean 99.998% of particles, viruses, uh, chemicals out of the air. So essentially we're surgically scrubbing the air every 30 minutes it's being turned over. So even down to 0.1 microns, which is the typical virus and bacteria size, is being cleaned out of the air. So we're excited to get that going. Is there a, is there a typical patient that you see and I guess what I'm asking is do you see young kids do you see oldsters do you right. see the whole gamut yeah we do see the whole gamut um, I would say the majority of our patients are women okay and uh, I, I don't know because the exact we're very percentage. good about our smiles exactly uh -huh. exactly and then uh, husbands come if they're told to come right exactly but uh, we do see kids up to the you know age three and on mm -hmm. and till you know in our 90s and uh, we're seeing patients so we try to keep everything in house uh, and we do a lot of procedures. Is there a focus in today's world on, I guess, prevention? And I grew up, um, I, I told you my dad was a doctor, but I grew up where if my teeth and my mouth were healthy, my body would be healthy. I mean, there's yeah. a correlation? For sure, there's extensive studies and charts and whatever that you know will match the type of bacteria in the mouth to how it affects liver, heart, things like that. So. Yeah, it's definitely the gateway of health throughout the body is how we feel. And so we're always trying to promote that idea to all of our patients. What about cosmetics um, procedures? Is that a big part of the practice too? Yeah, we do a fair amount of everything from whitening to, you know, reconstructive stuff, uh, cosmetics and things like that. So we, yeah, we, we do a fair amount. Let's ask him the real question. Did you want to be a dentist when you were younger? <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember being a kid going, who would want to stick their hands in someone's mouth? Oh, I think but, it would be super fun. Yeah. Like I would love to be a hygienist. It's like my favorite thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, being able to like make everybody clean and crisp and yeah. slick and all that good stuff. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a, I've made a good choice. I feel confident. Do you love it? I do love it. Yeah. It's fun to interact with people and, you know, try to do what we can to try and keep them as healthy as possible. Has dentistry changed a lot? I guess because I'm 66, I remember getting a filling um, without really any anesthetic. And I remember everybody got cavities. Yeah. I mean, that was just part of the... Yeah, it, it's changed. I think what you touched on with the preventative side of it is, is definitely true. It, uh, you know, we're seeing kids at young age and it's, it's become the standard as mm -hmm. far as at least coming twice a year for cleanings, x-rays, uh, and things like that. And, and I think the procedures and the comfort Oh. has come a long way in the sense of how we can get things done in a comfortable environment. It's not white knuckled dentistry anymore. Correct. And I hear stories all the time of, you know, yep. when I was a kid or that, yeah. you know, that type of stuff. And then they leave and it's kind of like, oh, that's not what I remember. So yeah. it's usually a pretty comfortable experience. It's a treat to see you again. Thank and you. again, it sounds like things are moving forward beautifully. Yeah. And look forward to seeing you and your office also. Thank you. Dr. Thanks Matt, for having thank me. Thank you. Stay Appreciate with us. There's more to come on Girl Talk.